real-time statistics. Can you show us an example of real-time statistics in 19C? And yes, I can. First, I'll do some background on 18C real-time statistics, which of course doesn't really exist, but this is more just to set the tone as to what real-time statistics are. Now, I should note that real-time statistics is an Exadata version only, and, and I'm not connected to an Exadata. I'm currently connected to a local database. And you're wondering, how do they do this? Just to full disclosure here, I reached out to one of the developers inside the actual database product group. They gave me a butchered Oracle kernel to actually um, use. Now, when I say butchered, what it is is inside the database, we have to do obviously extensive testing of all the features, and we do that through all sorts of platforms and, and et cetera. As a result, we need a version of the kernel that actually operates every single feature, no matter what platform you're running it on. So I stress this is not a guaranteed 100% production version of the Oracle kernel. It's one that the developers have given me, which they use for their quality assurance testing. So be aware that if it doesn't work, uh, it's not 100% production, but it serves my purposes in order to demonstrate to you people uh, the real-time stats. With that covered, let's go through 18C first. Here's a table called T. I'm gonna put 10,000 rows into it. So nice and simple, and I've gathered stats. So the database knows about the stats in this table. This is your typical example where I've populated the table, and then at 10 p.m. each night, the nightly database stat job comes along and gathers some stats. You can see the table hasn't got stale stats. I've only just gathered stats on it, so the stats aren't stale. The database thinks that I've got 10,000 rows, which is good because there are 10,000 rows. And it's got some information about the columns, et cetera. If I do this query, select max num count star where T ID greater than 9,000. The IDs are scattered simply from one to 10,000. So I get 1,000 rows. The count star is 1,000. That's the rows 9,000 up to 10,000. And the optimizer did a very good job at estimating that. You can see there that the display cursor returns, index range scan, I'm gonna get 1,000 rows, which is exactly what I got. This is to be expected because the stats aren't stale, the stats are up to date, and they exactly represent what the table currently looks at. But of course, I populated the table during the day, say, and now at night I've gathered stats. And of course, what does this table do the next day? It starts receiving more data. So let's simulate that. Let's put in another 1,000 rows. These are the values 10,001 up to 11,000. This is what happens to tables during the day. They get more data. And the problem, of course, is people are going to run queries on this table. But those queries don't take into account the fact that the data has changed. In fact, the optimizer stats still reflect last night. Even if I flash out the monitoring info, the database says the stats aren't stale. I haven't changed enough of the data yet, which is typically going to be the case when a table gets incremental changes you know, throughout its lifetime. The table still thinks, the optimizer still thinks, yes, the optimizer still thinks the table only has 10,000 rows, even though I've added 1,000 to it. The column distribution is unchanged. Now when I run the query, I can see the reality is there are now 2,000 rows for ID greater than 9,000. But as you might expect, the optimizer still thinks there's only a thousand. It has actually said it has unaware of those extra thousand rows because the stats haven't changed. And this is that problem that we always are playing catch up with stats. We don't want to gather stats all the time, really aggressively because that's a performance overhead. But by the same token, we don't want our stats to be out of date because we get problematic queries. And I'd imagine that most people here are in this kind of scenario where we gather stats at night, and the table slowly changes throughout the day and gets more and more out of date with the stats or out of whack with the stats. And then each night with the stats, bring it back into sync. So how have we improved this in Oracle 19? Let's now connect to a 19 database and run that exact same demo. Here's my table called T. There's my 10,000 rows and I've gathered table stats. The stats aren't stale as we'd expect. We've just gathered the stats. And as before, the table has 10,000 rows. I've included now a new column in 19 called the notes column. You'll see this on several of the statistics tables and you'll see its importance shortly. The column statistics are the same as we saw in 18C. We have the low, high value and the number of distinct values. 
Let's run our query. We know in advance that there's going to be 1,000 rows between 9,000 and 10,000. So that's unchanged from the 18C demo. And as you'd expect, the database thinks there's 1,000. So far, so good. Everything's running just fine. Let's now start to mess with it as we did with 18C. I've added those extra 1,000 rows. At this point, the optimizer no longer has that correct information. Let's flush out the monitoring info. Just to stress, the database hasn't detected that the data is stale. This isn't the normal kind of operation where if you change at least, I think, 15% of the table size or 10% of the table size, then the database thinks that is stale. So the stats still think are stale. Nothing is going on behind the scenes here. But now look at user tab statistics. For one table, we have two rows now in the user tab statistics column. We have one with notes as null, which is 10,000 rows. And we have a new entry here called stats on conventional DML that says the table now has 11,000 rows. I haven't done a DBMS stats call. I've simply said, done some DML, just normal DML, and the database has detected that. That already is looking fairly promising. Similarly, even at the column level, we've picked up low values, high values, et cetera, some new extrema. Let's now run our query. So 2,000 rows, but what did the optimizer think? Well, the optimizer did a lot better. In 18C, it was stuck up thinking it was still 1,000. In 19C, you can see, no pun intended, that now it estimated 1,959 rows, um, which is very, very close to our 2,000. So it did a lot better job. And you can see from the notes, it said, I've used dynamic statistics. And which ones have I used? The ones that are statistics that have come out of doing conventional DML. So that's the real-time statistics, the stats that now get calculated just by the act of doing DML. It's obviously not every time you DML. We do some sampling and we do some sort of intermittent flushing of those stats to keep the performance acceptable on, in terms of background work. You might be thinking, why do I get 1959 and not 2000? One of the things that's way too expensive to actually calculate just on, a, on real time DML is the number of distinct values. That's obviously incredibly expensive because you have to go visit all the previous data again. So we don't change the number of distinct values. So this table still thinks it only has 10,000 distinct values. Therefore, when we did ID greater than 9,000, we actually shrunk the estimate down slightly from um, 10,000, from 2000 to 1959. But still, we're much better. So that was 19C real-time stats. That's a really nice little addition that's coming in 19C.